everyone let's pick up from where we left off uh, we want to cut the sinkhole right here so I'm going to select first let's give it some texture so it looks like countertop any ugly texture granite okay so control to select that go to my ship editor one, one two notches and uh, I assuming you have your measurements on where you want to cut I'm just giving you the concept all right so let's let's move there you go right there another notch right there another notch another notch it will snap on like that another one we're done close you see the cutout now we have this stretchers that's gonna be on the way I can uh, either move move it away or I can resize it just so that when we bring in the sink it's not gonna be on the way I don't know how you make your cabinets you know better alright so let's bring in the sink so I'm gonna go to sinks there you go kitchen sinks and this time I will be using this kind of sink right here I'm planning on putting the faucet right this side and this will be the front so let's look at the size we're working with ship editor real quick we're working with 31 5 8 so I want this to be just 31 awesome let's bring it up by the way you can work from any elevation not necessarily on 3d I could be working on the west wall if I want to or I can be on the north wall if I want to you know I want to align it really nice with this kind of top so it's at the center like that then I want to go to the north wall I mean the west wall so I can drop it in like that I'm probably gonna have to align it again because I just moved All right so let's go to the 3d sitting nice and pretty move it out a little bit stretch it so it covers everything all right and let's make sure it's at the center I won't go all the way so I can put my fuss in. so align that so it's at the center again all right looking nice so far let's bring some faucets and it doesn't matter what type of faucet you want you want those fancy ones or you want the less expensive it's up to you so I'm gonna bring this one and it's that simple if you wanna make sure it's at the center I'm gonna select that and this looks pretty nice now let's make it pretty so I'm going to textures and this cabinet I want to give it some nice nice colors so let's go to forever mark cabinetry they make nice cabinets signature pearl oh nice hold on my shift then give the kind of the door some nice texture and look what we got here so far now you can always take care of the details like that but you can see what we just did here 
uh, I want to group everything because so far nothing is grouped um, so I will take go to structure I want to call this faucet the Europeans call it tap so let's just call it faucet whatever okay and I want it to be part of this sink I will just call it sink so they're grouped and if you see here so the whole thing is going to be grouped and I will call it B sync B 36 sync you know what that is so now I can move the whole thing around I can now have fun with the textures and let's do that for a moment I'm going to kitchen depot door depot you can get your textures from anywhere it does not matter let's try some oak some some oak wood and you can watch the grains there you go and give it some nice raised panel doors that you like doesn't matter and let's give it some let's change the countertop texture so it's a different material so I'm gonna go to countertops granite and uh, let's give it some uh, really different color ugly pretty you be the judge all right just play around with the colors depending what your customer wants but this is how you do it we are done and by the way you don't have to do this again you right click and add it to your catalog I'm going to create I'm gonna change see create a folder here and I'm gonna call it Emmanuel and I'm gonna save my B36 sync in there so next time I need it I don't have to make it I'm gonna delete start a new project and guess what I'm going to look for my base cabinet that I made let's that's my folder here it is it's always gonna be there it's, it's going nowhere you can make copies if you like the same technique is used for just about anything now I notice the handles are in the middle that is some weird base cabinet so I'm going to fix that so I'll go to structure and I'm gonna go to the doors see what's going on here on the handles okay select the handle and shift select another handle I want to move them up because they look funny somewhere there actually I can also chain them if I don't like them but you can see them now so that's how you can cut out a sinkhole thank you for watching have a good day